Hello everybody! This is Everton Fan 77 with episode 3 of the Wigan Athletic FIFA 8 Manager Mode series. So in this episode, is, it's, it is the start of the Premier League. Very exciting. As you can see here, Gareth Bale, not do, I'm not done with trying to get him yet. Left back, I need him. Want him, want him more than... No, it's impossible to want anyone more than you want Heskey. But then, I put in a bid for... Musa Dembele, um, I don't know why, but he's Belgium, I think. He might be, but and then um, my first game was against Chelsea, and the first thing I noticed was no Frank Lampard. What's the Chelsea team without Frank Lampard? Uh, but as you can see, they're walking out here. And yeah, Michael Ballack, I think, was replacing him. Yeah, I was pumped for the first game of the season. I was like stretching my fingers, like I wanted to win this first game or draw it really. Just get any points away coming away from Stamford Bridge would be an awesome start to the season. I think I like managed to stretch my fingers right back, and yeah, and then off the free kick, good link up play. SEM plays to Drogba. Drogba does not miss them. Terrible start to the season. Like a whole two minutes twenty-four in, and they already have a goal. Oh, it's a shocking start to the season. It actually was pretty good link-up play. And then Heskey had an opportunity, but Heskey did what Heskey does best and fires it straight at the keeper. Yeah, I squandered another opportunity then with Heskey. Not surprising. And there wasn't much highlights in this game. At one, at half time, it was one 0 Chelsea. I just thought I'd show Lampard coming on here. It's a pretty big move. I don't normally show substitutions, but it was Lampard. And I had a decent attempt with Skoko, but not really troubling. And then Kubis had a chance to win it right at the last, and failed. And that's how it finished, 1-0 to Chelsea. I actually outplayed them that game, so it was pretty annoying not to at least come with, come off with a draw. Very annoying. And man of the match was between Jonathan Kumis and Emil Heskey. Yeah, and, well, they got quite a bit of match experience because they played a quality team. And I'm, I did, no, I made a loss because I was playing away from, yeah, playing in an away game. And I failed to sign Dembele and Bale as you probably saw them. If not, there, yeah, there it is. Who will fail to sign Musa Dembele. Who will fail to sign Gareth Bale. I do prefer the transfers in FIFA 12 a lot more than these ones. But I put in another bid for Gareth Bale because I really wanted him badly. I didn't want him to bail. On me again, get it? Because his name's Gareth Bale. <laughs> Sorry, another terrible joke, but yeah. And our next game was against Arsenal. Oh, uh, really? I had a tough start to the season, but no excuses. And I had to win this game, or I had to get a point from this game at least. Crucial. So as you can see there, Song against his old club, eyeing them out. Josip Skoko, I don't know why he got some fame then. But they, everyone ran out and everyone was pumped for the game. I was really pumped, I was like, I have to win this game. Otherwise, I will die. Yeah, literally. And so the first opportunity came with Jonathan Kumis. Bit of a nothing shot. And this one, I don't know how we didn't latch onto it. And Thompson, oh, I was playing Thompson this game. I brought him up and gave him a trial. Because, um, Kagawa, I think it was, was low on energy. And see, so nice cutback there comes in. And this is a, and this is the shot, but he is only 52 overall. So I think he's going to be great in the future. And he comes in again. And just, Le Lemon just saves it. 
but he's showing a lot of good signs. So I think I'll keep playing him as our backup striker. Then Heskey came in, does what Heskey does best, shoots it at the keeper. And then Van Persie, oh, this replay makes me so angry. Ugh, I dominated this whole game. If you can just see, just hits the post, rebounds, nets it. Pretty annoying. Yeah, one more replay for good luck. Orange boots. And then I had a straight off the kickoff, I had a chance with Kumis, but Lemon saved it well. And then Van Persie again, but a great save. And then Granquist, I have no idea how to pronounce his name, came in, had a bit of a shot, should have done better. And right at the last, I had one chance to win it. One chance to get, bring it back, and Kumis missed it. So that's how it finished, 1-0 to Wigan. Very annoying. Uh, that was two games I could have had points from, but came away with nothing. Very annoying. Yeah, Van Persie scored. I like Van Persie, but good player. So, man of the match went to Thompson, deservedly. I think he'd have to be... Yeah, he was. He got 12 match experience there, so that's good. Yeah. I successfully signed Gareth Bale, finally. I got my beast, which I wanted to join Hess. He'll be playing at left back, probably. Maybe left mid, because that's where he plays now. But, yeah, transfer season was nearly over as well. Sorry, I've got a bit of a cold, so. Yeah, as you can see there, uh, Sheffield Wednesday put in a bid for Jonathan Aguaha, but I asked for it more. As you can see there, look at that potential, 91. That is brilliant. And our next game is against Bolton. Not only was it a derby match, but it was a good chance to come away with three points here. Yeah, they had play playing Gary Speed, R.I.P. Yeah, Gary Speed, legend. And Nicholas and Elka and um, El Hadji Diouf, that was it. So, up front, they had actually quite a bit of firepower. So, I had to hold, had to hold them off. Oh, I sounded like an idiot then. But anyway, um, yeah. I really wanted to win this game. I said that three times now. And uh, the game hardly had any highlights in it. But this one I should have scored. Half time was nil all. They were the only highlights in it. I was trying to find highlights in this game, but there was like hardly any. And Heskey should have scored. But I think he's, he still hasn't scored this whole season, including the friendlies. And Heskey comes in again. And then hits the post and off the rebound. Yaska line and saves Valencia's, Valencia's effort. And that's how it ended. 0-0 in the derby match. Probably could have got more out of that game. But competition points, competition points. So at least I got a point there. And as you can see, man of the match was between Kirkland and Aguaha. So player of this episode, I think, has to go to... um. I don't know, it's a tough one. It's probably down... No one really played well. I'd probably have to do it, put it between Emil Heskey <laughs> and maybe Thompson, because he had a... If, he didn't really see it in that game, but I was playing with him. He was creating so many chances. Even So even though he played one game, it's probably down between Heskey and Thompson. So leave a comment. Um, which one you think... Or you think... Which one you think deserved... Um, play of the week and just say their team of the month and all that and um, despite the team's poor performance fans attended an open training session which helped the team out somehow but made them tired as well yeah um, just waiting for that to end and yeah um, there's yeah, scout, oh, the scout report this guy looked exactly like Thompson Except he had a go, so I added him to my shortlist. And here are the tables. As you can see on the top half, Blackburn's winning. Um, and Birmingham are up there. And then where we are, coming 18th, we're in the relegation zone. That's not a worry, because it's only like the first part of the season.
So, this has been EvertonFan77. Don't forget to leave a comment with who you think deserved player of the episode and any more suggestions or anything. See ya.